Yo, what's good people? It is day 13 of this weight loss transformation, this mindset transformation, and more importantly, a lifestyle transformation, people. And the scale has gone up yet again, only slightly. I'm buzzing with the increases so far. I was seriously worried they were going to be two, three, four pounds at least of water weight. It's not going to be fat. I'm eating in my calorie deficit. It's not going to be fat on the scale increase. If you do not know, I was eating zero carbohydrates for the first 10, 11 days of this weight loss transformation. And that's not sustainable. I don't want to be preaching that on the channel. And that's not the life I want to live. So it did help me, to be fair, reset my mind, get some clarity and give me that kick up the bum to get going but it's not sustainable long term. I'm talking five years down the line, not a few months, not even a couple years, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years. We do not want to be losing weight ever again. That is not what we want to do. We do not want to be losing weight. So we are making sustainable changes. We're going to be including foods and we're not going to be cutting out entire food groups. We're going to be smart with it, people. We're going to be smart and we're going to be active and we're going to track our food. So um, I'll have meals at the end of this actually, but I'll just go through them now before I start going on a tangent or something and, and just spewing whatever comes to my mind after this day 13. Again, I'm toying with foods. We'll be getting on a meal plan. So what I'm doing is I'm eating different meals at different times to kind of see how they make me feel throughout the day and just calorie amounts and, and whatnot. So I'm tracking the foods and I'm going to settle on probably a meal plan. So I'm just trying to find out what fits best, where and when, what types of foods and whatever. But if you do not know as well, 3,600 calories is my maintenance. I'm not eating 3,600 calories. We're, pu we're pulling 500 calories down from that. So 3,100 and that's a pretty good deficit. I'm allowing myself up to 3,000 calorie, uh, 3,300, sorry, calories a day. That's only going to be a 200 calorie deficit, but that does not matter because we are still on a calorie deficit and that is a lot of food. So I'm going to have my main bulk of food from whole foods, getting my healthy protein, carbohydrates and fats. But if I want a treat, if I want an ice cream, if I want a cookie or something, I'm going to include it in and allow myself up to 3,300 calories. Will I be eating that much every day? Most likely no. It's a lot of food, especially if you're eating clean. It is a lot of food. And I'm aiming for 200 plus grams of protein. Ideally, probably around 240 grams, to be honest with you. So between 200 and 240 grams, I might go above that. I might go slightly, uh, words, I might go slightly below that. But as long as I'm hitting around 200 grams of protein, I'll be very, very happy. And that's what we've been doing thus far. So food-wise, I had beef and potatoes. I had a protein shake after the gym and I had protein with yogurt and fruit. So that was kind of my dessert and had two main meals of potatoes, beef. And then, on, oh, I did have a wrap actually and a bit of sliced like American cheese. I know it's not the best for you, but I do not care. We're not demonizing foods. I prefer it. So had a slice of that, put it on the on the meat and then put it in a wrap, toast of the wrap. Absolutely fantastic people. We've got a healthy beef in there, giving us our nutrition, our protein and our fats. And then we've got the potatoes as well, carbon is up nicely. And the wrap, again, not the best, but it doesn't matter. It tastes so good. And it's a good alternative to go and get Taco Bell or something, right? Just plain beef with some seasoning on it. Wrap, bit of cheese. Very, very filling, very, very satiating. And I was good, man. I had that twice a day. I had that twice that day. So fantastic, fantastic day of eating. I think it was around 2,800 calories, which is below the 3,000. And I was done. I was stuffed. So that's the thing. It's actually going to be a struggle eating majority clean to hit that high amount of calories. And I'm going to eat till I'm satisfied. I'm not going to force calories in for the sake of it because I'm trying to be a bit intuitive as well in what I am eating. I don't want to be eating for the sake of it. If I'm full, I'm actually going to stop, which is something I never really did before. I have made sure I finished everything, 
You know, I, I'd force food down even when I was full, even when I was satisfied, I'd still keep cramming it down. So this time I'm stopping. I can just put it in the fridge. It doesn't matter. I can just eat it the next day. I know I've worked out my food and the calories and stuff, but I'm seeing if I'm leaving food, I'm going to be below the allotment. But some days your hunger is going to change people. One day I might be hungrier than the other. I might have been more active one day, so I am hungrier and I might eat the 3,300. Maybe maybe on a rest day I'm not as hungry because I haven't been as active. I, I eat less and be satisfied. So we, we want to be smart with the hunger as well. We want to listen to the body. And if we're actually full, we do want to stop. We can put it in the fridge. We can eat it later. No problem at all. So uh, what I'm doing in the gym today, actually, and I've been rambling already for five minutes without even talking about this. I'm trying to give you a true reflection on my arm day. I was training arms today, literally just doing some bicep curls and triceps. So I was, I was just trying to give you an indication of more how many sets and reps I'm doing at the moment. It's, it's a higher volume approach. I'm still building up. Don't forget, people, this is day 13. So I'm just getting back into the swing of the things in the gym, not on a proper program, hitting a body part a day, just getting used to it, building up the volume, feeling the muscles again, working the muscles and not killing myself. I'm feeling energized after these sessions. Back in the day, especially when I was in my bodybuilding days, I would I could be in the gym for like two hours, maybe an hour and a half lifting weights, then 30 minutes cardio after. And I was battered. I genuinely would be tired all day after that. Here, I'm coming in, banging banging about 20 to 30 minutes of arms, which is a fair amount for arms. But we're getting the reps in, we're squeezing the muscle, and we're feeling good. And we're improving our fitness through this too. Not only am I training the muscle, I mean, it's quite aerobic in a sense. Like, I've gone from being a couch potato to be doing this. A lot of breathing. Like you can see, I took a little break there because my heart rate's up and everything and it's firing. And we're just feeling the muscle, getting the reps in, getting the blood moving, getting the body moving. And more importantly, the most important thing is we're building the habits. We're showing up to the gym, people. It doesn't matter what you are doing as long as you are doing something and you do not have to perfect it from the start. Just show up. Just get in there, build the habit of turning up, build the habit of doing something. And once you've been doing that for a little bit, you can worry about getting on a program, being the most optimal. It's not a waste of time if you're going in and just doing a bit and you're feeling like you're not doing enough. That's not a waste of time at all because you are building the habits, you are laying the foundations and you are showing up. That's what we're trying to do here so far. We are turning up to the gym. We're making sure we're there. And we're doing something. And this arm day is quite killer, to be honest, people. You can see a lot, a lot of reps have gone down. Not the heaviest of weight, but not the lightest too. Like, I am struggling a bit. It is hard. It is definitely hard. Moderate, moderate weight, making sure I'm working the muscle and actually using the muscle we're doing, trying not to overcompensate. And I do like this little single rope they have. It's pretty cool, actually. Um, so just doing that, an arm each, and then... I believe we hit some biceps at the end again just to absolutely kill them off. I like having an arm day. I don't know. There's something about going in there and hitting arms. Um, definitely everyone kind of wants big arms. It's one of those things people will tell you. You don't need an arm day if you're, you're using your arms and the other movements. Anyone I know with big arms spams arms. Anyone I know with big arms spams arms. That's how it goes. You may very well be hitting them through the other exercises, but again, anyone I know with big arms trains arms. They dedicate a day to arms. So very, very simple in the movements. I've done pretty much the same movements, just repetition on them, changing the weight, some drop sets here and there, and just getting the blood in the muscle, baby, getting the blood in the muscle. So absolutely fantastic session, a good day of food, feeling energized, to be honest, with these carbohydrates now coming in. Again, the scale is likely to carry on creeping up, but so far in the two days, I'm very, very happy with the increase. I mean, like I said at the start, I was seriously worried it was going to be three, four, five, six pounds. It could even be seven and eight pounds, to be honest with you, from cutting them out entirely and being over 20 pounds down on the scale to suddenly changing what I'm eating and including carbohydrates again. I, I was expecting an increase like properly because obviously I didn't lose 20 pounds of fat. The most of that has been water, but 
so far I'm very, very happy because the scale hasn't been going up too much, which means we have been burning fat. And of course we have, because we've gone from eating junk, we've gone from drinking and doing nothing, literally not leaving the house to pretty much getting out the house. I've been getting out the house every single day. If it's to go to the gym, if it's on a rest day, I'm still doing walking, I'm still getting out and about and doing a bit. And that is what matters people. So yeah, it doesn't look that appetizing. Very, very plain. I did have some barbecue sauce. But that's all i got to say today, people. 2,831 calories here. It will show you my protein now as well. 214 grams, 265 carbs, and 97 fat because it's 12% 12 fat beef mince. But I'm going to wrap it up here. I'll see you tomorrow for day 14. Let's get it, man.